Hi, I'm Kronos with a video on the inflation rate of BitShares, basically how fast the supply of the core BitShares token BTS, grows or shrinks over time. Whenever you're considering an investment, understanding its future supply is a key component to estimating its value. You probably know that one Bitcoin is worth more than one Dogecoin, and one of the reasons is obvious. There can only be up to 21 million Bitcoins in existence, but there's already more than 100 billion Dogecoins. It's a simple matter of the difference in supply. Now, of course, demand is the other important factor in that equation, but you should always consider supply when looking at value. In this video, we'll start by looking at the factors that can increase or decrease the supply of BitShares. Then, we'll look at the current supply, and lastly, we'll look at the way supply has changed in the recent past. Let's get started. Alright, here's a diagram from the website BitShares.org that outlines the ways that BitShares supply can change. At first glance, it's pretty complicated, but fortunately we can simplify it a bit. Before we do that, let me highlight some of the important areas from the perspective of inflation. This bar at the bottom, account balances, is the actual supply of BitShares, which starts at 2.5 billion. So you can immediately see that there's three ways that the supply can increase, through workers, through witness pay, and through the referral system. And there's one way that it decreases through fees. Now this circle in the upper left, the reserve pool, is bit shares that can be used to increase the supply. But wait, what does that even mean? The best way to think about the reserve pool, in my opinion, is that it doesn't exist at all. I know that sounds crazy, so let me explain. It's a little bit like the debt limit in the United States. Back in 2011, we had a big disaster. We call it the fiscal cliff, where it was literally against the law for the United States to go into debt more than a certain limit. The reality was the country was spending far more than it was bringing in in taxes, so it was guaranteed to go over the limit, and the entire federal government was going to grind to a halt when it reached the limit. Stock markets crashed and chaos ensued, but in the end, they just raised the limit and continued going further into debt. That's a little bit like the reserve pool in BitShares. It's supposed to be a rule that says the supply can never go beyond this point. But in my opinion, if the pool ever runs too low so that the network is threatened, we'll simply hard fork the network to create more BitShares in the pool. So in the end, the amount of BitShares in the pool, which is meant to be a total limit to the supply, doesn't really matter. So let's simplify this diagram. We can see a fixed amount of bit shares coming out of the reserve pool here, but if that's a higher rate than shareholders want to spend on witnesses and workers, you can see the excess simply being refunded back to the pool, so we can remove that from the diagram. Next, you can see fees split between the reserve pool and a complex referral system here. Now, the referral system isn't really part of the bit shares inflation equation, so we can simplify this as well. Now that the diagram is simpler, it's easy to see the different factors that impact BitShares inflation. Witness pay is new BitShares being created and added to the supply. Workers, which can be zero, is pay for new work to be done on the blockchain. And lastly, fees can be split between being destroyed and being referred back to the referring account on the BitShares blockchain. So there's two ways that new BitShares are created, and one, that BitShares are destroyed. Now let's take a look at the current supply of BitShares. Alright, here we are at one of my favorite websites for keeping tabs on various cryptocurrencies, CoinCap.io. It shows you the top cryptocurrencies by market cap, so let's just search for BitShares here. And there is BitShares market cap price and most importantly available supply. So you remember that BitShares started with 2.5 billion in its supply. It's now increased by 73.34 million. That would make sense that it's gone up a little bit because the amount of BitShares created by witness pay and worker pay would probably be more than the amount destroyed by fees, at least now at the beginning of the network. Let's look at a BitShares block explorer to see exactly how much the supply has changed over time. Alright, here's a BitShares block explorer, CryptoFresh.com, and this page here under budget stats will show us exactly what we want to see, the change in the reserve pool over time. Here's the reserve pool balance graphed over time, and today, September 6th at the time of this recording, we can see 1,027 million bit shares. Let's think of this in terms of millions because that'll make these large numbers easier to manage. So 1,027 million. Now let's look at six months ago. That would be March 6th. Uh, March 6th, that's 1,055 million. So 1,055 minus 1,027 would be 28 million, if my math is correct. So 28 million is the amount of bit shares that have been created that have come out of the supply since uh, in the six month period. Now let's take a look at the actual supply today. Once again, jump back to CoinCap, that is 2,573 uh, million. So let's divide that by the supply, which is divided by 2,000. 
753 million. Is that right? Let's check one more time. 2573. I got the numbers mixed up. 2573. And the result is 0 0.01. That's 1% increase in growth over six months. Now, most inflation numbers are over a year. So let's multiply this by two, two times in order to get a year number. So this would be a projection of a 2.1% inflation rate. Hey, that's pretty good. I like that inflation rate. So this is something we can do to say, look at that. BitShares inflation is about 2% annually right now. And we can look in the future to see if that continues to be the case, because the more witness and worker pay, the more inflation we're going to have. And the more fees, the less inflation we're going to have. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little tour of the BitShares inflation rate. The takeaway is the more workers we hire and the more witnesses we pay, the more inflation we're going to see on the network. But the more fees, the more deflation or the less inflation we'll see. But overall, the network is running very satisfactorily at about 2 or 2.1 percent inflation, which is a very sustainable number. So it's looking good. We can keep an eye on the change in the reserve pool in order to track inflation over time. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments below the video. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.